special type of an ankle sprain is the so-called high ankle sprain, which is a syndesmosis pruris lesion. Typically with pain on landing, which you can simulate by slamming on the heel. If you compress the lower leg, the tibia and fibula at the molecular line, maybe this pain is less. So this is an indication for taping as well, that you give that compression simulation for a quicker and better and stable healing of the syndesmosis over some weeks. From the posterior border of the tibia, squeezing the lower leg together, the compression effect to the posterior border of the fibula. And you do this a number of times, partially overlapping Squeezing, pulling. The ends of the tape are always without stretch, but the intermediate part is with, as we say, 33% stretch when you shorten the tape one quarter after measuring the necessary length. So this is two or three elastic tape variations. The next step is applied with full stretch. Now you start at the back side of the fibula. You squeeze the maleoli together again. You push and you pull fully, 100% stretch, to the back side of the tibia now. So this tape, which you pull out maximally, is uh, applied with 100% stretch and is shortened one third of the measured length. The next application is our figure of eight. And all the time the foot is relaxed. From the back side of the tibia, again you apply with 250% stretch, you have shortened the tape a quarter, you pass the ankle joint between the malleoli, line, you go under the foot, stay on the calcaneus, come up medially, pass the ankle joint again between the malleal line and the end of the tape is at the posterior side of the fibula. And you do that a second time, partially overlapping again, crossing the ankle always between the malleal line. So Instead of applying more stretch, you simply apply a second tape of eight. You do again the transverse one. Elastic variation starting at the back side of the, fibula, the tibia. And squeezing both bones together again when you pull to the back side of the fibula. And if necessary, you can apply the last transverse one with full stretch again. So you have shortened it a third, as measured, squeeze together and pull. So you push and pull at the same time. All right? And as you can see, at the back side of the leg, the Achilles tendon is free, so we don't interfere with the function of the triceps. And we give that slamming without compression, and maybe there's now less pain, only due to the tape application. And now we can walk normally without any pain, hopefully. Thank you very much.